Om Shanti. Welcome to 12th of December's Quality Blessing. What is mine, everything is yours. And everything which is yours, I am a trustee taking care of it. So everything which is mine is actually Godfather's. He's given it to me. So it's not exactly mine. I'm just a trustee for that. And this belief system is a very helpful, very powerful system which helps us to actually move ahead in spirituality in life and become lighter in the mind and be able to connect to God in His remembrance easily. So those things don't come in between Him and us. The wealth, the money, the post positions, the things which we possess doesn't come in between Him and us. That means the ego doesn't come in between Him and us. So God says, may you transform mine into yours, be double light and experience the flying stage. Be double light, halka, light in a mind. That perishable body, which you and I have, wealth and old mind of, old mind of ours is not ours. Very important to understand. This is a philosophy. You have given them to the father. That means this is all yours. So you purify my mind. You tell me how to use this physical body for worldly service. You tell me how to use the wealth for worldly service. The first thought you had was, everything is yours. When we came into contact with Supreme Creator through Brahma Kumaris, the first thing which we had was, everything is yours, nothing is mine. All the three lokas, all the three worlds are also yours. So what is mine? I'm just your child who's using these things, but the owner is you, my father, my creator, my godfather. The father does not benefit by this but you benefit. It's not his benefit. If I give him the property and if I give him the wealth, he is actually already the owner. What am I giving him? What can I give him when everything belongs to him? Nothing, right? So God says that's the method to become lighter. So God says the father does not benefit by this, but you benefit because when you say mine, you become trapped. Whereas when you say yours, you become detached. By saying mine, you have a burden but by saying yours, you become double light and a trustee that I'm taking care of everything which is given or entrusted to me by you. With this property, with this land, with this money, with this family, with his children, with his relations. Until someone becomes light, he cannot reach the highest stage, highest stage of spiritual feelings. That means light in our mind. Only those who remain light can experience bliss through their flying stage who remain light, can experience bliss. Bliss can be experienced only when we are in connection or in remembrance of Supreme Father. When things and worries of uh, things and people and relations and property and wealth doesn't come in, in between him and us, then we are flying. That means we are meditating easily, lighter. There is pleasure in remaining light. There is pleasure in remaining light. Who wants to be heavy? No one. So we have to do a practice of whenever we get into entanglement of what to do, how to do, think for one second, stop yourself and say, is it mine? No, it's what it was given to me by father. So he'll take care of it. He knows what are the best methods and what was the best way to take it ahead. So let me give it to him. Let him find the sources, the resources to take care of his own thing. I'm just a trustee. I'll just follow his path. And with this, you become lighter. Om Shanti with this.